Hello? This is Robert Messina, and I'm um, here again uh, creating a video concerning the 12 identities or the 12, 12 characteristics of Messiah, which I believe was first brought forth through the prophet Enoch. Enoch walked with God. He lived before men wrote. He lived before the flood. He was the seventh of Adam. He was dedicated, righteous man of God who was translated. And he was a prophet according to Jude. And, he, and I believe he was the first one over 5,000 years ago that prophesied of the coming Messiah. Again, he walked with God. And what do you think, what do you think God was going to share with him? I mean, he's going to talk about the flowers? He's going to talk about the stars? Yes, the names of the stars? Okay. He is going to do that. But the most important thing is about man and God and how man is condemned to die and how there is a savior who he's going to send and to me that is the first thing and the foremost thing that he's going to share with Enoch as he walks with Enoch and Enoch gets an earful and he wants to share what he has heard from God and he wants to share it with the world of men that he lives with. And so he he names, the stars already have names, but he groups the stars into name. He has a whole bunch of stars and he sat and he sets them in a group and he gives the group a name. And then he has another group of stars right close to it and he gives those groups a name and then he has enough he does it four times and each four and four groups of stars four constellations make up another group and there are 12 groups of four constellations each and we know the zodiac which is greek for Zoa, the Aconis, living ministers, like the living ministers of the living creatures that you get in Ezekiel and you get it in Revelation. You got the lion and the eagle and the, and the calf and the man, living ministers. And you, 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 if you saw the video uh, on uh, for signs and for seasons, then you saw how the zodiac signs relate very strongly to that same exact symbology. Okay? Um, so to sum all that up, I'm going to say that the 12 celestial zodiac groups, 48 ancient signs, represent 12 identities, characteristics of Jesus the Messiah who came. And Jacob blessed his twelve sons and you could tell that when he was doing that he was, I, he was matching up each son which went with one of those groups. So the twelve sons of Jacob, each one was going to carry forth an identity of Messiah to come. And when they were around the wilderness, when they were in the wilderness and they were camped about in the tents and they had their father's symbol uh, in front of their camp, a flag in front of their camp, those flags had symbols that represented an identity of Messiah. And 
And furthermore, after I did all of that study, I noticed that there were 12 gemstones on the breastplate of the high priest and that each stone had engraved each stone. So there were 12 stones, so each tribe had a, had a name written, engraved in it. And it didn't tell you, just like the flag didn't tell you what, what, um, the symbol was on the flag. Exodus doesn't tell you what tribe is on which stone. But I was able to know which tribe was on each stone because of the characteristics of the stones. And again, this, this is going to be about the 12 minor prophets, so you're going to have to go, if you're interested in that, and you should be, go into these other videos. I have 12 uh, not only do I have the introduction of the signs and seasons, I also have 12 videos, 12 separate videos that talk about each tribe and each characteristics, each messianic characteristic. And in those videos, I also talk about, there's more than the stones. Each of the 12 patriarchs was matched with each of the 12 apostles. And those are mentioned in there too. And there were 12 gates around the city of David. They had names, and they're like Sheep Gate, Fish Gate, uh, Corny Gate, um, Ephraim Gate, Benjamin Gate, High Gate, Valley Gate. Those names of those gates ha uh, can be matched with these identities as well. Okay? So you have the, uh, and then you have the 12. Uh, gemstones on the foundation of New Jerusalem in Revelation and they're almost the same thing as the breastplate except there's differences and those differences have meanings as well so there's a lot to this there's a lot going on a lot is going on here but now let me see do I got them all let's see let me just see for a sec. you got the stars you got the uh, Jacob's blessing you got the gemstones, you got the gates, you got the apostles. I think that's it. But now I'm going to say that um, the 12 minor prophets, because this is something, I mean, I saw, I, I glimpsed at this um, about five years ago. I saw something like this, and uh, I got caught up with something else, and now I'm able to pursue it a little more. And uh, I'm happy to say that, yeah. The twelve minor prophets have names. Each of them have a name. And now that, that's the beginning clue of what characteristic and which group they can be matched up with. There are four seasons. Now when I say there are four seasons, I mean that three groups, now three constellation groups, so three of the twelve, represent a single season. And the four seasons are uh, salvation. Um, actually, I like to start with war. There's a season of war. And I like to start with war because the sting of death. Scorpio opens up the season of war. The sting of death started enmity, a battle, a war. A war that would last the whole history of man until the serpent goes away into the lake of fire. The sting of death started a war for the whole history of man going right up to the final day when the serpent and all of the enemy of, of God is thrown into the lake of fire, the second death. And after the season of war, we have the season of salvation, getting born again, you know, being fished out of the waters, being uh, overcoming, overcoming the death in Jesus. And then there's um, a time of serving the king. And lastly, there's a time of communing with the king, having bread and wine and feasting with the king.